Number 774,103. Always do your analysis, even though nothing will likely come from it. How many times have I told you people who email me and say, Dave, I'm not seeing a whole lot going on. I'm going on vacation, or I'm going to take a break from the service. I'm still going to remain a client. I'm still going to stay on the service, but I don't see anything happening for a while. And then later that day, that night, actually, I'll be doing my analysis and I'll find one or two stocks that become two of the biggest, one or two of the biggest winners of the entire year. And, and without those two, that probably would do okay, but not nearly as well, because the methodology does require an outlier to really make good money. So you always have to do your analysis. And I don't want to come across holier than now. And that's why I start doing these these things. It's like, hey, I'm Dave Landry. And all of a sudden it's like, oh yeah, fat finger or a day and I did this and did that. It becomes a bit of a convention time. But anyway, I showed you this crypto trade and like, hey, I'm Dave Landry. Look at that. It, I got in and within like a day, I hit the IPT, came back down, stopped me out of the remainder, break even. Who cares? Okay. Made a little money on it. Next. See how easy it is? And then what happened? Well, this thing sets up again, has a nice little pullback and then takes off without me. And that might be... Hopefully it's not, but that might be the real the real deal, the real move. Because in this particular case, I would have taken this trade in crypto, and it would have, you know, hypothetically, right? Well, what would the world be without hypothetical questions? And I think that's right with a W. But anyway, that's a that's kind of a bummer there, and and you can see that this isn't about this magical setup. It isn't about Big Dave's money management, his hybrid approach to the market, and all these G whiz things. It's about paying attention and doing your homework, even though crypto became a little lackluster. It's like, ah, there's nothing going on crypto. Why even bother? Well, you should. And, you know, from a selfish standpoint, it's great that I have this trading service because it forces me to do this analysis every day, the stock analysis, that is. And if I weren't doing a trading service, especially on a shitty day, I'd probably just go home and say, oh, the hell with it, you know?